throughout the long Barclays League season. And to select your best three goals, of course. Mark Lawrenson will be the judge. His verdict this time next week. The prize for the winning viewer, four best seats and lunch at the promotion final at Wembley on June the 2nd. Plus a Sports Week shirt to go along in. Here we go then. Good luck. Goal A scored by Junior Bent for Bristol City at Swindon. Late summer sunshine, early Bob Taylor pass releases Junior Bent on his best run of the season. His goal won the season's first West Country derby. And Junior, in fact, was to get only one more goal all through his long season. Goal B by Mickey Hazard for Swindon on Oldham's plastic pitch. Swindon were to lose the match, but their neat build-up and Hazard's deft finish was to win October's Goal of the Month. Goal C from Paul Nixon for Bristol Rovers against Port Vale. It was to be Nixon's only goal of his season for the Rovers, who decided to loan him out to a Far East club a few weeks ago. But Paul Nixon's November strike was to remain one of the winter's outstanding shots. Goal D from Duncan Shearer from Swindon's visit to Ipswich. Good build-up, and then watch Steve Foley's adroit pass. It sets up Duncan Shearer for the confident finish that added up to December's best goal. Goal E again from the prolific Duncan Shearer, this time at home against Hull City. The neat accuracy of Swindon's play had not yet faded into their spring slump, and Hazard uh, supplies Bodin. The overlapping fullback supplies Shearer, that's one of his 23 goals of the season. Goal F by Fitzroy Simpson from Swindon's prestigious victory over Sheffield Wednesday. The night that young Simpson reminded us all of his potential with an instinctive solo that made February's choice almost a formality. Goal G from Tony Seeley for Bristol Rovers against Millwall. Well, they do say March winds do blow and certainly Millwall that night found a neat move and Seeley's adroit finish blowing them away. Goal H from Hazard, taking his mickey, shall we say, to home park to hit Plymouth Argyle. This was a good combination goal, beginning with the two fullbacks. Kerslake down the right, finds Vivash on the left. He finds Rideout, who sets up Hazard for that accurate finish. So to recap then, goal A, Junior Bent, goal B, Mickey Hazard, goal C, Paul Nixon, goal D, Duncan Shearer, Duncan Shearer again for goal E, Fitzroy Simpson, goal F, goal G, Tony Seeley, goal H, Mickey Hazard. Your entries... Swindon against Hull. And the reason I like this and put it into third place is it's a real team effort. Swindon, well known for playing football, passing the ball to each other. You know, one pass, loads of movement, people running off the ball there, nice little reverse ball, passing by Hazard. Cross comes in, sheer a good finish. It's a lovely goal, that. Very, very simple as well. Straightforward. A lovely team goal. What did you put in second place, then? Well, in second place, completely different. It wasn't so much a team goal as a hell of a shot from Paul Nixon for Bristol Rovers versus Port Vale. Very, very little build-up in this, Roger. It's all very, very scrappy. Devon White has it, you know, loses it. But to his credit, you know, he puts in a tackle. He puts in a defender's tackle for a forward, and it comes out to Paul Nixon, and he'll never score a better goal than this. They had gold written all over it, didn't it? Marvellous. I'm sure many people thought that would have won it. Indeed. And so what then did you make? Gold of the season? Well, I put the cat among the pigeons slightly, and I went for um, Fitzroy Simpson's goal. It looks like Gareth Chilcott, actually, doesn't he? <laughs> Slimline version. But uh, the thing that I liked about this was the fact he gets a ball, middle of, middle of Sheffield Wednesday's half, lovely little shimmy, and he hits a ball with the outside of his left foot. No back lift. That is, for me, goal of the season. Great goal. Yep, a lovely goal, a skill and vision from a young player, a nice signpost of hope for the future for West Country football. A reminder then of Mark's winning order. Third place, goalie, Duncan.